Yo, what's up guys, Red Jive here. Um, right now, I'm going to be doing a video about um, how to add like vShare and say like license plate mods and stuff like that because it's a small mod that changes honestly a lot. Um, so first you're going to want to find like a license plate mod or a mod that requires vShare. Um, I know there's a lot of like discussion um, about vShare but basically you just want to download your license plate mod so let's download this gta5mods.com then you want to download new vShare v2.1 I'll put the link in the description for the newest one um, so now just download vShare new vShare now that that's downloaded you're going to want to bring these both to your desktop Oops. you grab the files bam bam so now you have both of those now I'm going to assume that you have vShare or not vShare but OpenIV um, so now we're just going to open up open up open IV if you do not have open IV I'll put the link down the link in the description um, I don't think it works for pirate versions of GTA 5 so, so now click edit mode yes let's bring this over here to the side oh, let's do this side okay so now what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to find your vShare. So that's this one. You open this up. Now you're going to go to the README TXT. And this is the pretty much only the confusing part about this. Um, so you want to go to Update, Mod, Update, Update our RPF, 564, our patch, our levels patch. Or actually, yeah, I'm going to delete this. Actually, I'm not going to do So basically, what you want to do now that you're in your update, update the RPF by 64, you're going to want to right click, click new folder, then you're just going to want to name it patch. Okay. It's going to say that for me because I already have one, but this is going to show up right here, this patch right here. So you know, right click that. You're going to click. Or sorry, no, you're going to want to open up patch. Yeah, in... Sorry, I'm retarded. You're going to go to update, update that RPF by 64. There's going to be a patch folder. You want to open that. Then in here, there's not going to be a levels folder. So you just want to click new, folder, levels, and then, you know, you're going to get this one. So now there's not going to be anything in here. So now same thing, right click, new folder, name it GTA 5. And then, now in here, this is the thing that a lot of people get messed up on. You're not just going to click New Folder. You're going to click Add. Or, sorry, not Add. You're going to click New RPF Archive. Then you're just going to name this Vehicles. And then OK. And then this is going to show up. Then you're going to open that. Then you're going to go back to your... Uh, WinRAR file. Also, I'll, I'll put the download for WinRAR in the description. You're going to drag over the vshare.ytd file. Then, once that's in here, you're going to click on update.rpf. Then you're going to drag over the content.xml and remember to back up all your files. So backing up, that's also another confusing thing. Honestly, literally the way I do it, I just drag this right there. Drag the stock one right there, but I already have that in on my desktop or in a folder. So, now, you have vShare set up. So now what you're going to do, close all this. I'd recommend keeping your file, keeping your vShare file, just in case something does get messed up. If you follow the tutorial correctly, it won't. But, so now what you want to do, you want to go to GTA 5, and if you did it, uh, GTA 5, x64e, show in mods folder, levels, GTA 5, vehicles.rpf, 
Now you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Then you want to go to the V's. And then there's, if you did it right, vshare.ytd is going to show up. Then you're going to open this. This looks confusing, and it kind of is. But you're just going to want to scroll all the way down here. The ones I say, if I click the readme.txt, it says replace the Yankton plate and Yankton plate N. So the Yankton plate N is like the shape of it. And I've already got this in here. So basically, what you want to do, if you if you have a fold like this, it's going to say vshare. You just open this up. And then the yank can play N, so then you just want to click the yank and play N, and then just drag this over. And then just click OK. And then you want to click, if this one says yank and play, click yank and play, yank and play. OK. Then you can close this. Save changes. Yes. And then close this. And then you're completely done. At that point, you can open it up. If you have menu, you can open it up, and then you can click. Um, click where it says the plate and then the plate number you should just be able to go to Yankton and then it should or whatever plate you replaced and then it'll have that uh, plate for you so thank you for watching I hope this tutorial works if it doesn't comment down below thank you for watching bye